What up, y'all? Uh, I'm here. They're finally unloading me. Yeah, it's running. Thank God they get to have their own pump. But as I'm sitting here, I'm at a dog food factory unloading canola oil. I was watching some YouTube, a couple people that I follow, and I seen a puff of smoke, and I think it's coming from the stacks inside. But as I looked out my window, damn birds, they're just all over the place. Because it's cold outside and they're looking for food. And this is a dog food factory. Well, over there is a lot of rejected bins of dog food. And I think they're all full, or partially full. So, yeah, you got a lot of birds over here. And they just happen to by my window. I got the word today that I'm not going back to Detroit tonight. Nope. Because if you guys stuck up north because I-90 is closed because due to weather. So I get to go over to Jersey, pick up a trailer, and head back towards Louisville and hand it off so somebody can take it over to Arkansas. In yesterday's vlog, I said something about audit. No, I was really tired, it's edit. I had to edit my video, not audit it. Come in. Oh, wrong doorbell. <laughs> A train. Memphis, look, a train. Memphis, tell Mama what trains do. There's two of them. Those are engines. But yeah. I left Detroit with enough hours on my log to get to where I stopped last night and I ended up pulling in with 43 minutes left on my clock. Now on my clock, you have 14 hours of on-duty time. Basically you punch the clock, you have 14 hours to get everything done and shut the truck down. You only have 11 hours to drive. Yeah, I had 43 minutes before I was in logbook violation. That was cutting it real close. When it's under an hour, you're cutting it close. It may not seem like that much to you, but as for a driver, under an hour is cutting it close.
Jersey? Yeah, I made it here. Oh, hey, some lights might help. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. But I just got to ask. Is it really always that crazy in Jersey? You got people in the left lane. It's treating it like it's the Autobahn. You got people in the right lane that are passing people in the middle lane. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. People are crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go eat and then take a shower, finish the vlog, edit the vlog, upload, and then in the morning, I'm going to finish it off, post it, so, just got done eating, I had a nice burger and fries, I know I shouldn't eat the fries. But the burger was really good. About four years ago, I, when I first came to Jersey, I uh, stopped at this little bar right next door. Because somebody told me they had really good food. Yeah, I know. You went to the bar. Yeah, but I only had water. And that last time, uh, the first time I ever went there, I had a soda. What was really funny is the lady that served me four years ago is still working there. She told me she's been working there 17 years, I think it is now. But you wouldn't think much of it. Because the outside is all dark. And it's a nice little place. Uh, the people behind the bar are real nice. The place I'm talking about is called the 18-wheeler here in Kearney, New Jersey. It's right by a bridge. I have no idea what bridge it is. Um, if you're over in Kearney, New Jersey, uh, I think people have heard of OJ's Tank Wash. It's right next door. It's called the 18-wheeler bar and grill. I think bar and grill. Anyway, if you go in there, say hi to Vanessa. Real nice lady. She's the one that works behind the bar. And I know it's nighttime, but this is what the bar looks like. Get done with a shower. I have nothing else today. Uh, vlogging coming into the city was just too hectic. Way too many crazy people. I'm going to end this, upload it, blah blah. You know the routine by now. Um, if you like the videos, give a thumbs up. If you really like the videos, subscribe. If you really, really, really like the videos, tell your friends. Okay. Remember, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up.